Love, heartache, and lots of sibling drama. Catch up with ABC's most endearing family, The Walkers. Brothers and sisters, a family matter. This Saturday at 12 midnight on SoapNet. For starters. Now, where's the rest of it? Rest of what? Don't get cute with me. I don't know what you're talking about. I'll make it easy for you. Your money. I want the rest of your money. You've got it. That's all of it. So you're not going to tell me, huh? I am. That's all of it. Okay. That's the way you want it. You want to do it the hard way? That's okay by me. I'll just find the rest of it myself. And then we'll have us a real party, huh? No, don't do that. Stop that, please. Don't do Look, that. Look, you don't want to tell me where it is. Just stay out of the way, Cookie. Hey, what are you doing? Ah! Give me that. Oh, you don't give up, do you? Uh, you think you still got a chance? Forget it. Ah! I said forget it. This is my party. You see? And I say what goes on here. Now sit down. I think maybe you'd like to tell me where there's some more goodies around here. There's nothing. I swear there isn't anything. Is that so? Look, you better get out of here, because I told you my mother's coming. And you better just take the money and leave. Are you still going to stick with that bit about your mother coming over? Yes, you have to believe me. Yeah, well, I don't know if I believe you or if I don't believe you. But it don't matter to me. Because, uh... If she comes over, your mother's a fancy lady. She'll bring some real nice presents with her. And if she don't show, well, then it'll be real cozy. Just you and me, huh? <laughs> like I say, it don't matter to me. I got a lot of time. Matter of fact, I got all day, so why don't we have another drink? Huh? Hey, what do we got here? A party favor. Real nice one, too. I thought you said there's no more prizes around here. There's not. Shut I up. Shut up. Now, look, I'm through playing with you, little girl. Now, something tells me that there's some other goodies on this boat hid someplace. And you're going to tell me where they are. That's right, yeah. You're going to tell me right now. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and rest. Okay, listen up, everybody. Let's go. All right. Before we begin the agility test, I'm going to run it down for you people one more time. We start with a lap completely around the gym. Next, we go to that flight of stairs behind you, running up and down twice through the first maze of traffic cones. That brings you to the sled, number four, which must be pushed completely across the gym, okay? Right into the running broad jump over the tire, clearing at least a three-foot jump. Next, you vault over the wall, brings you to the second maze of traffic cones over here. Get through that, and it brings you to the dummy. The dummy has a weight of 70 pounds and must be carried or dragged around the perimeter of the gym to that cone, back this way to this traffic cone. We ended up with one lap again around the gym. Everybody got that? Okay. You'll be taking the test individually. And when you hear the whistle, you'll each have two minutes and 15 seconds to complete it.
Test in two minutes, seven seconds, you pass. All right. Yay! Yeah, man, you did real well. I didn't think I was going to make it. Those cones are trickier to get through than they look. How about the dummy? I, I don't think I know what 70 pounds is. It's heavy, believe me. I believe you. OK, next candidate up will be uh, Miss Ryan. Siobhan will be fine. OK, Siobhan Ryan, let's see what you can do. Good luck, Siobhan. Hey, listen, you do it in under two minutes, and I'll buy you a beer. You're on. I'd be glad those guys are wishing you luck, because you're sure going to need it. Oh, we'll see. OK. Ready? Peter Davies. Yes, sir. Your next man up. Right with you, Davies. Hey, Ryan, look, there's no need to worry. I mean, you can take this thing again until you pass it. Over and over if you have to. Over and over. Terrific. All right, ready, Davies? Yeah. Something tells me I don't buy it. You have to. It's what true. What do you got here on a stinking boat? Nothing, nothing. I swear there's nothing here on the boat. You have to believe me. Well, maybe you got nothing hit on the boat. But maybe you got something hit on you. I think maybe I better check you out. says my party's over. I don't think I got all my presents yet. I told you, you don't have anything else. Yeah, I know you told me. But uh, you lied to me before. I think maybe you're lying to me now. Who knows, there may be a whole lot of pretty little presents around here. <laughs> You've taken everything I had when I came here. <coughs> I took the brooch and the ring and the money. And now you've got everything I've got. Well, then why don't we just sit down and wait for your mother to show up? I'm sure she's going to bring a lot of nice things. My mother's not coming! You're lying to me again. I told you to not lie to me! I'm sick and tired of you lying, you hear me? Just stop it! All right. What are you doing here? Are you all right? Kimberly, are you all right? You got my money! Everything. I want it. What? The money, everything. Everything you took from me, I want it now. It's in my pocket. This one? Yeah. Let go of me. Jill, call the police. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God.
I think she's in labor already. Let me get her up on the bed. Come on. Zuzu, no, please don't worry. Kimberly, we're going to put you on the bed and make you feel better. No, I can't. I can't. You'll be more comfortable. No. Come on, maybe. All right, all right. Maybe we better leave you. Or we'll leave you here, all right? Listen, I think she's right. It's too soft. You've got to call an ambulance. We need an ambulance. Let me see the phone. All right, there's a phone at the end of the dock. It's all right, Kimberly. It's okay. You're all right. Frank is going to get an ambulance. You're going to be all right. This is me. I'm in big trouble. What? What's the matter? Huh? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Take it easy, okay? I'm. I'm sore. Well, I hate to say I told you so. Yeah, but you don't hate saying it enough not to say it. No, well, I told you that test wasn't going to be easy to pass. Well, you'll be happy to know you're right. I didn't. Oh, uh, honey, I'm sorry. Things didn't work out for you. Not so fast. It doesn't mean that I'm no longer a candidate. It just means I have to take the test again until I can pass it, if I don't die first. And so help me if you laugh. I'm going to slug you. <laughs> or I would slug you if I could move my arm. Uh, what can I do for you? Huh? Uh, call Father McShane to administer last rites. <laughs> I can do better than that. Here, roll over your stomach. I'll give you a sign. Oh. Come on. Oh, that would be oh. a very good idea. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, it's gonna be okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Tight. Uh. Oh, Joe, how am I ever gonna pass that test? I've got to. I'm in so far now. I mean, I couldn't quit now, even if I wanted to. I just, I, I want to prove I can do it. To who? Me? Your family? Oh, that's part of it. Mostly to myself. I mean, I still, I feel like I could... I feel, I know it sounds cliché, but I feel like I could make a meaningful contribution. I want to be doing something useful. I know it sounds like a Girl Scout, but I don't care. Oh, no, you sound fine. You know, when I was young, policemen were always good guys. Hmm. I mean, I don't see why that can't be now. I mean, they should be thoughtful and sensitive, intelligent help, not just brute force. I mean, I think that's what I really want to show people. Yeah, you will. I thought you were so against all this. Well, still not crazy about the whole idea, but if it's something you want to do, there's no point in trying to stop you. You're right there. No point in that. I'm still worried about it, though. And it's uh, not going to go away. Ow. Oh. Well, ouch. Don't let your worries uh, get you, because I still haven't passed the test. I don't know how I'm going to do that. i got to get in shape. I gotta start a daily exercise program. I mean, running, jogging, 
Maybe even working out with weights. Oh, you're gonna make a very pretty jack, lady. What exactly do you have to do for this test, huh? Oh. Well, first we had to run a lap around the gym. And then we had to run up and down the flight of stairs twice. Now, that part I could do. I've done that before. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. And then... Uh, then uh, we had to run through a bunch of traffic cones. Well, I thought I was going to break my neck right there. And then I got this image in my head of <laughs> when I was an elf <laughs> in an eighth grade ballet recital. And, uh, you know, I just sort of tiptoed through the uh, cones. But three times elf speed. Elf speed? Yeah. Don't ask any questions. Oh, sorry. And then, oh, the sled. I had to push this thing they called a sled. I don't know how far, too far. I mean, I don't know what they think. They think everybody wants to become a policeman, move pianos before or something. Well, I've seen you move mountains and not even blink. Oh, yeah, well, it certainly didn't help me today. And then, oh, oh I had to uh, run, uh, do a running broad jump, and then vault a wall. Did you make it? Oh, eventually. <clears throat> and then more traffic cones. Oh. And then my most formidable adversary. Yeah, what was that? A dummy. You mean a Charlie McCarthy dummy? No, uh -huh. I mean a 70-pound dummy I had to carry or I don't know how far, only it turned out to be more of a drag. Mm, that doesn't sound like too much fun. No, I meant I meant that I was supposed to carry it and I dragged it. Well, I guess. The you. dummy. Guess you're right. And that's when the time ran out. I mean, I didn't even get to the last lap around the gym. Yeah, you'll do it next time. <laughs> the way I feel right now, I'm not sure there's going to be a next time. Oh, aren't I making you feel any better? Oh, yes, yeah. much better. Everything mm. is going to be fine. <laughs> you look better already. <laughs> Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sorry, what are My you leg, doing? it's what? just, it's not your fault. My leg hurts. All right, come here, just fly like this. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be laughing at you. But... I'm sorry, I, oh, I can't move. That's no, okay, it's okay. I don't. No, shh. We'll just lie together for a while, all right? There'll be other times. Oh, I believe that. It's not a lot, but... What? Well, they said to keep her as warm as we can, oh. as comfortable as we can, and to assist in the delivery. Oh. It's any way possible. Now, no, I need towels. Oh. Oh. Kimberly, I want you to listen to me. Listen to me for a second. Now, I've had a baby before. I have birthed a baby myself. Really? Yes. Now, I know that you're frightened, but we are here with you. And nature has a way of taking care of these things, and Frank and I will do the rest. Well, yes. Frank, what did they say about after the birth? Uh, not to cut the cord, but to keep, keep the clean the baby's face. Uh, make sure its air passage is open. And then, I guess, tap its foot. And, I don't know, keep it as warm as we can, I guess. I feel so helpless. I know that there are things that we could do to make it easy for her. Please, please, please let us save my baby. Don't let anything happen to him. We won't. Please. We won't. I need my baby. Don't let anything happen to my baby. Nothing's going to happen. It's going to be all right. Oh, my God, it's coming. I can feel it. It's okay. coming. It's coming. Kimberly, I want you to lift your knees. Oh. I want you to That's breathe it. deep oh. and relax. I can't. Take deep oh. breaths. That's it. In and out. Push. I want you to breathe slowly. Push again. Take deep breaths. That's, That's it. it again, Kimberly. Harder. Again, once more. That's breathe. It. Keep breathing. Take deep breaths. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, you got it, baby. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> Tap the foot. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's so small. It's a girl. 
That's a girl. Falcon Beach is heating up soap net. Don't miss all the hot bods, steamy sex, and sizzling drama in this resort town. Falcon Beach, Saturday at noon and again Sunday at midnight on SoapNet. Saturday, November 15th at 8 on Hallmark Channel, the heart of Christmas. So, I need a new fall coat. And I said go to Burlington because we are beauties on a budget. <laughs> Burlington has everything. Coats, scarves, hats. <laughs> and the prices are amazing. If you want style and value, Burlington is the place. Do you know how awesome your immune system is? Inside your body, special forces are fighting 24-7 for you. When it gets tough, support your awesome immune system with Airborne. Crafted with 13 ingredients for the fighter in all of us. Oh. 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 International Delight Coffee Cream is a smooth splash of sweet French vanilla flavor. Leave a little room for delight. Introducing Nexium 24-Hour. Finally, the Purple Pill, the number one prescribed acid-blocking brand, comes without a prescription for frequent heartburn. Get complete protection. Nexium Level Protection. This is our new turkey cranberry flatbread before we craft it into a sandwich. The amazingly tender roasted turkey, always raised without antibiotics. The zesty cranberry mustarda. The freshly baked flatbread. But here's what you don't always see the care and attention that goes into it. Because what matters most is the simple, delicious ingredients that make up the whole delicious meal made just for you. And this is our turkey cranberry flatbread sandwich paired perfectly with our autumn squash soup, only at Panera Bread. At last, automatic reusable hair color. New Preference Mousse Absolute. One push automatically mixes pure color dyes, easy to apply to retouch roots or use again. For luminous color, brilliant shine. New Preference Mousse Absolute by L'Oreal. This is Lime Away Turbo Power. Watch Lime Away power through this block of pure lime scale. Now let's see it in action. Tough, hard water buildup? Gone. No scrubbing. Turbo Power destroys it. Lime Away Turbo Power. See the difference or your money back. <laughs> Let's play together. New Let's Imagine Elmo counts. One, two. And switch Elmo's hat. A full mode is And he here. sings and plays. Look out, Elmo's coming. <laughs> New Let's Imagine Elmo from Play School. You get used to food odors in your kitchen. You think it smells fine, but your guests think it smells like this. Febreze Air Effects works instantly to eliminate odors you've gone nose blind to. It smells so much better. So you and your guests can breathe happy. Crest presents Crest 3D White White Strips versus Whitening Trays. These trays feel a little loose. It's kind of hard to talk. The white strips really grip. I can't even move these. Look at that. Ugh. I feel like the gel is oozing out a little bit. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Hmm. Crest Supreme Flex Fit White Strips grip securely around the curves of your teeth to safely whiten below the enamel surface for dramatic results that last up to 12 months. It says it whitens like a $500 professional treatment. Oh, nice. That is awesome. Crest 3D White White Strips, the way to whiten. If I could tell something was up with Justine. Phone calls, Skype, texting. In every way, she was pulling away from me. I thought it was because I was in Alaska, but... You know, she helped me when no one else did. She's there for me. Which means at some point you guys are more than that. It's not what you think. She helped me with my PTSD. That helped her discover that she wanted to be a social worker, which is why she applied to grad school. Grad school? Yeah, she's going to get her master's at WPU. He knew none of this. I'll call you back. Bye. Hey, I got your message. Yeah, listen, um, we need to talk. In Cooperton? Yeah, Cooperton. It's a lot safer for the both of us. Whoa, whoa, Warren? What? Look, Dick came to me 
And, I mean, I don't think I said anything, but he asked me a lot of questions. And if I let something slip about the books... Listen, Eric. Yes. Shut up. Okay. Can I trust you? Of course you can trust me. I'm working with the FBI. <laughs> right. Yeah, all right. I submitted your name and number of the agent who's in charge of my case. I'm one of the good guys, Eric. Oh, the, 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 the two sets of books, the documents I signed, the checks no, I... It's a dummy account that I set up with the FBI to fool the guys back east like Dick, not to mention protect my other clients. So you're not actually scaring money off the top? No, of course I do. I do it all the time at standard operating procedure. Everybody does it. After my arrest, I saw the light, okay? I volunteered to help. 